Alright guys, so we're doing a little preventative maintenance today with coolant change. Get the pH back in spec on coolant. Anyway, yada yada. Just doing a radiator drain and fill. That's usually perfectly fine about every 50,000 miles or so. You can see I keep track of maintenance here. But, what I was going to mention is, that is a semi-warm idle. I didn't do a cold start for you, I should have, but on a 130,000 mile 2016 3UR57 with 020, the devil, and a um, synthetic changed at the dealership over 5,000 miles because I can. Uh, there's absolutely nothing wrong with running 530 um, if your engine is a little noisier and a little viscosity helps it great and hurt it a bit um, they did not change the internals of the 3ur when they changed the spec from the 5w20 to a 0w20 um, there's actually some benefits to the zero uh, in colder climates most of your wear in an engine internal combustion engine is from cold starts for the upper half of the engine well all of the engine for that matter has drained down and does not have a good fluid film on the bearings does not have pressure yet the zero gets there faster in cold weather than the five that's fact that's not up for debate that is the whole point of it a lot of people say oh well it's energy savings no a 5w20 versus a 0w20 acts the same once the engine is warm it's a 20 weight um, equivalent either way when it's warm so it's not for fuel savings the 20 weight versus the 30 weight 5w20 versus 5w30 or 0w20 versus 5w30 that is capable of a minute amount of energy savings, but that's not what the 020 switch was about. It's about better cold start protection. So, you do the math on that. Your use case is different than everybody else's. You decide if that's beneficial or not. But going from a 520 to a 530, or a 020 to a 530, could help you a little bit with some viscosity if you've got tick. But the biggest thing, if you've got uh, timing chain noise, is your driver's front timing chain tensioner. The galley is very small, the oil galley, and uh, it gets clogged up easily if your oil change intervals aren't good enough or you're not running the correct fluids. Um, so the best thing you can do for yourself is to run a very high quality synthetic oil like a Okay, I'll add 125,000 miles. Um, I would highly recommend a new product from Valvoline, newer product. Valvoline's been out a year or two now, but um, everybody's just kind of catching on. The Restore and Protect. So there's your 5W30. That stuff has a very specific chemistry and a molecular structure that actually goes in and removes carbon. It doesn't dissolve it it removes it. Um, the carbon is mechanically attracted to the molecules in that product and it cleans very differently than any other high detergent oil I've ever used. Um, I have put it in a ticking uh, 3.5 uh, 2GR. Uh, I've put it in three URs and within five, 600 miles cleared up that time and chain rattle and the tick. But as you can hear, at 125,000 running 020 its whole life, this engine is clean as a pin, quiet as a mouse. Um, a lot of that's hard to know on a iPhone microphone, but uh, you'll just have to take my word for it. She's quiet on startup. She's quiet at warm idle. Um, the 020 is not your problem. 